Hello, people. Welcome back. Um, I'm playing along with the Art Journal Prompts Challenge uh, today. And this is about texture. This is for week two. And uh, the first thing I do is gluing down some ephemera pieces uh, with the Mod Podge uh, to um, get some texture already. Um, this is a piece of paper, an A5 size, a watercolored uh, piece of paper, which I gessoed on both sides. Uh, I think that will prevent it from buckling up all that much. And this is a modeling paste from Amsterdam and I'm adding some texture with a spatula. So this is uh, a good start for my page. Uh, now I am gluing down a piece of lace um, I'm cutting out the, the curled bits and I'm adding that with a golden gel medium. I find that a perfect glue to uh, stick down some heavier uh, materials. And this is week two for the Art Journal Prompts Challenge. Um, I believe they are at week four or five already. Uh, I just started playing along and only did the first week, which was about your word for 2017. And uh, this is week two, the texture. So adding a layer of gesso uh, on top of the lace. And now I am stamping with my favorite uh, script stamp. And that is a stays on black ink pad. And now I am going to add some more texture, and that is a crackle paste, also from Golden. And I'm trying to embed the piece of lace a bit with the crackle paste, and hopefully it will give a nice uh, crackle once it's dry. Um, the Art Journal Prompt Challenge uh, is a weekly challenge. I believe it's on Friday that you get a new prompt every week. And um, I will leave you some links in the description box so you can check out for yourself and hopefully play along with us. Um, here I am adding some sprays. Um, this is a distress spray. I believe it's the rusty hinge and as I am trying to be careful uh, I use the tube to add some color and spray it down with water but that uh, went a bit too slow so I ended up spraying onto the page as well and this is a spray from Heidi Swap which is um, the color T and I'm doing the same at the bottom of the page, adding some of the spray and then water it down. And another distress spray, and this is the Broken China, and I'm doing the same again. Uh, with adding the color, um, I'm trying to uh, create a kind of a rusty look and also with adding the color uh, especially the sprays it runs into all the little crackles of the paste I put on there before so that looks very nice um, using the tube again to try and be a bit careful and this is uh, an Inca gold. This is a kind of a paste really in a turquoise metallic -y, uh, color and I'm adding a, a, some highlights with my fingers and I do the same with this. I believe this is from Viva. Also a metallic paint in an orange copper color. Just highlighting some of the uh, parts of the lace and so far so good I am quite happy with what I got here so far and meanwhile I am thinking 
what to do next. Uh, I've completed the brief, I think, because I do have quite a lot of texture. Now I'm trying to tone down a bit of the background and I start doing that with the Neo Color uh, crayons. Um, that didn't work too well, so I took out uh, a piece of chalk, a school board chalk. That didn't work as well and these are some other chalks I had and trying to tone down and make it uh, the background a bit softer and blend it more in and while I had these neo uh, neo colors out I decided to splatter a bit give it some white splatters and I simply do that with a small wet brush just tipping the tip of the crayon and that will give you a very nice splatter and here I slow down a bit you can see uh, the very nice texture uh, I got so far and you can see all the, the sprays have run into the uh, little cracks of the crackle paste So for my background, I think I'm ready and I wanted to add a bit more. This lovely little metal box I got in Happy Mail from um, Anya, uh, including uh, all that is in it and that are pieces of... Uh, she told me it, it was created with a soft clay and there are lots of yummy goodies in there some ornaments some keys and some gears and here i'm trying to decide what to put on i had this little metal heart uh, that i wanted to use so i decided on the wings and um, using the golden gel medium again because as i said it is uh, a good glue for heavier stuff nevertheless I had to put some weight on my ornament uh, before it uh, stuck down uh, completely and this is the stays on uh, ink pad again to ink the edges of my page make a kind of a border really and then I am dating uh, the page I believe it was February the 1st I'm not sure and sign it with the Micron pen uh, you don't see me do that I think this is a sort of a glaze by tattered angels I never use that stuff and I want to get um, um, Use, use it up so I thought maybe it would be nice on the wings so I put a little bit on the wings uh, uh, with the glaze so that's it for my art journal prompt uh, week two texture um, I hope you have enjoyed watching this process and um, well hope to see you again very soon guys bye bye and have a great day